My name is Nicole Aquino from St. Xavier High School, and today I'll be presenting my research project on the effect of music on plants. The first question I asked myself was, what is sound? Sound is the energy that objects produce when they vibrate, and these vibrations travel through the air. As you can see in the graphs, the quality of sound can be measured by wavelengths and amplitudes. The next question I asked myself was, well, what makes a sound musical? Well, music is just harmonious sound. It utilizes voices and instruments to produce a song. The two genres of music I decided to explore for this project were classical music and rock music. I chose these two genres because they are very different from each other. Classical music is composed using pianos, violins, other orchestral instruments, and it's generally really soothing. On the other hand, rock music is produced using electric guitars, drums, and it's usually a lot more energetic than classical music. For my experiment, I took three plants and labeled them A, B, and C, and exposed each plant to a different sound. Plant A got classical music, plant B got rock music, and plant C was our control group, so we got nothing. I planted these seeds at the same time and grew them in the same type of pots, and whenever I played music, I would separate the plant. I did this experiment for three weeks straight. These are my results. Plant B, the one that was exposed to rock music, grew the tallest and also got the most leaves. This graph depicts the growth of each plant, showing that plant B grew the most and plant A, which was exposed to classical music, grew the least. These results disproved my hypothesis. So the conclusion is rock music makes the plant grow taller. The results from this experiment are important because it can help farmers find safer ways to grow produce at a faster rate. And in our constantly growing world, these discoveries are essential to me, to you, and to everyone. Thank you so much for watching.